be careful with Mr. Wilson. I have a feeling he's just looking for an excuse with me. The sensors shouldn't cause any disruption at all. I checked the schematic three times. I got a lot of things on my plate right now, so unless this is important, I'm gonna have to ask you to come back some other time. Did you now? And did that perhaps come from a certain entitled so-called inventor who's caused me no end of headaches? Right, of course you are. Well then, concerned citizen, there have been some unpleasant developments of late. I'm not gonna name names, but you and I both know damn well who to thank. She made my life a lot more difficult, but I don't have time to deal with that right now. I have more important things to worry about. Been tracking Ashta for a long time now, and suddenly their behavior doesn't add up. Probably not a coincidence. That... That makes sense. But something's got them riled up. Now, I need to get back out there and get some eyes on this situation. Since you so interested, looks like you can handle yourself. You want to join me? <laughs> yeah, I've heard more than a few hunters say something similar. They nearly all apologize for it later. Gear yourself up however you need to and meet me at the gate. We'll head out from there. out there okay then just stick close to me keep your head on a swivel and you'll be fine we'll be back before you know it and maybe we'll get some answers here to the Elios retreat it's supposed to be some new age healing center for reforming criminals or whatever going up in Ixil too I'm not holding my breath in the depth just doesn't make any sense let's keep going
Yashta are clever, but they're usually predictable. These tracks don't follow any other paths I expect them to. It just doesn't add up. Looks like the tracks head this way. What in the hell? This is one of our security blocks. Someone sent this thing out to mimic the Ashton. Why in the world? to handle yourself. Most times someone encounters an ash that they panic. Not you. But now I got even more questions. Who in the hell did this and why? No, this almost cost us lives. No one I know would think that's funny. Someone from Aquila Security did this. We're the only ones that have access to these robots or can change their orders. I need to check this over, see if I can find some more details. But while I do that, I need you to run back to the city. Check the access logs on the computer in the barracks. Look for whoever signed for this thing last. I'll meet you in the city when I'm done here. city with walls. Hmm. Quite a throwback, wouldn't you agree?
If it weren't for the walls, the whole town would be an Ashta buffet. Oh, hey there. Back already. Davis said something about you going on patrol with him? He's... <clears throat> He's alright, isn't he? Nothing, uh, bad happened out there. Oh, no. Look, people getting hurt was never part of it. Davis has just been so stressed over this whole thing with that woman and her sensors, and it's been affecting him on the job. The damn robot was just supposed to stomp around, mess up her data, and then come back. I didn't know it would rile up the Ashta so much, and it wasn't supposed to break down. It won't matter. I really screwed this up. Well, lucky, Bailey. If it was me, I wouldn't be so lenient. Keep your gun holster during your stay. Do you think we should cut down on our That might help for us. Sounds like a bad idea to me. Get to the bottom of it. The robot's internals are fried, so I came up empty. You have any better luck than I did? Know who's responsible? What? No way. My own people sabotaging equipment. Whole world's going crazy. Well, I'm out to go deal with this. Thanks for helping out. I'll kick some credits your way. May not be much. Not made of money around here. You might want to give Miss Alpin some time to get clean data. Might be a research. Well, it might prove useful. Been up there, huh? Space?
next stop wouldn't be the Grippy system, would it? You gotta report them. Funny how Aquila City reminds me of Neon, with the wealth planted in the middle Hello. and the poor at the periphery. You've got potential. For a change. Just need to see a little more from you. Oh, you're back. How'd it go? I'm sure you did. And I'm glad to know that was your priority. You did what I asked, so let's go meet the marshal. Follow me. This is getting old. What you need is a change of scenery. Welcome to The Rock. We are headquartered in the upper floors of The Rock, but we also have remote stations throughout the Helps us to identify and respond to threats more quickly. Like I said before, there are less than a dozen rangers in all, and we operate with limited resources. Thankfully, most people respect us and are willing to cooperate. In this job, your eyes, ears, and wits are every bit as important as your badge and your side on. Marshal. Emma. I came to be here because you're satisfied that our new recruit can handle the job. Seems like a fine candidate got the right priorities. All right then. Step forward, recruit. Let me have a word with you. guts, no doubt about that. I've got just one question. Do you pledge to defend the people of the Free Star Collective, even if it means risking your own life? Good. Here, take these. You're now a Free Star Ranger deputy. I'm assigning you to Ranger Wilcox for some field training. Listen good to what she tells you. Welcome aboard, deputy. You've made a wise choice, but I trust that your duties as a Ranger won't interfere with your service to Constellation. Wish we could throw you a welcome party, but there's work to do. We got word from a farmer on Monterra Luna. She says someone's trying to take her farm, and she's afraid she might be in danger. Well, it's a moon that orbits Montera. It's got a breathable atmosphere, warm climate, and good soil for growing. Just the name, Michaela Wagner. There have been Wagoners on Monterra Luna for a long time, and I'm sure they're proud of that heritage. Well, most things do at the start. Doesn't mean they stay that way. 
That being said, best not to assume anything. Just try to keep an open mind. Grab any supplies you might need, and let's get going. Pay attention to what Ranger Wilcox tells you. careful if you run into those ecliptic jerks. They fly around like they own settled systems. And they like to use old abandoned facilities as outposts. You know, the ones left over from the colony war? Ugh, I need to get something off my chest. I sold my sister's ship and told her it was stored in it.
That's it. You're clear to land. I'll stick to the comforts of New Atlantis. Over here! The Free Star Rangers. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. I'm Ranger Emma Wilcox. My deputy and I are here to help. Now, tell us what happened. I was out planting in the fields when I saw some men approaching. They look like soldiers with uniforms and weapons and such. They wanted to buy the farm. Didn't even ask if it was for sale. Their offer was so low, I told them right where they could stick it. They said they'd give me time to think about it, but if I didn't change my mind, I was gonna regret it. Then they left. There were four, but when they were walking away, I heard them talking like there were others. Maybe there's more out there. Nothing I can think of, no. Truth is, we're in some hard times here. The last harvest was the worst we've had in a long time. Besides, it ain't like there's a lack of available land around here. That's right. The uniforms look like the ones worn by Free Star soldiers back during the war. They had a certain steel in their eyes. Like men who are used to violence. I was in fear for my life. Back behind the house are some canyons. They went that way. That place is dangerous. Steep slopes, narrow trails, rock slides, and all manner of hostile creatures, too. If you're going after those men, be careful. Oh, there's one other thing. They said they were the first. The first of what, I'm not sure. But there must be more of them coming. Thank you, ma'am. That should be enough for us to find these men. All right, deputy. Keep that weapon handy and your eyes sharp. Since these guys don't know we're after them, they're probably not making an effort to hide their tracks. Now, let's go and check out those cameras. Boot tracks. Several pairs by the look. Not too old, either. Let's head down into the canyon and see if we can find more. that traveling into these canyons is wise. The route looks mom. treacherous. Back when I was a kid, I used to love exploring and making maps. These canyons would have kept me busy for months. I'd have looked into every nook and cranny.
You better check your ammunition supply. It's clear that we're not the only things roaming these canyons. to get out under the sky for a spell. Being a mother means I don't get as much field work as I used to. Strip everything useful from that thing. You're a natural tracker. Bet my badge that's wood smoke from a campfire. They're close. Be ready. We should be careful. This bottleneck is the perfect place for an ambush. Who's here? 
Ms. Wagner called in the cavalry. <laughs> Except it ain't much of a cavalry. I suggest you turn around and walk away while you still can. Normally, I'd suggest you choose your words carefully so we could avoid bloodshed. But something tells me that isn't going to be possible. Oh, it ain't exactly the farm that's special. But that ain't none of your business. Don't recognize the uniforms. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. It's like the Major said, everyone's conveniently forgotten. Forgotten our sacrifice. Forgotten how we were betrayed. We'll make them all remember soon enough. I promise you that. You think you're in a position to make demands. Well, I've got news for you. All you're getting from me is a sh... So, got any last words I should try to remember? If you think I give a damn about the Free Star Rangers, then you've got no idea who you're dealing with. Matter of fact, that just makes it even more fun. Air him out, boys! Bring it on! certain to make us both very happy indeed. Uh, are you okay? Really? Guess you've led a pretty exciting life. Maybe the less I know about that, the better. Let's search the area. Maybe we can find something that explains what these guys were up to. Hopefully, we can find something that explains who these guys were and why they were after the Wagoner farm. Likewise. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no... Find anything interesting? Let's see what we have here. Hmm, interesting. So, their ship was stolen from the Hope Tech factory. Whoever pulled that off must have been one hell of a shipjacker. Well, I guess someone really wants that farm bad. Speaking of which, let's get back there and let Miss Wagoner know that she's safe. For now.
What's the news? What happened? Did you find those men? Well, it's good to see you're all right, then. They must have been crazy or desperate, trying to take on the Freestar Rangers. So who were they? And why do they want my farm? Hope Tech? The cargo ship company? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. They say the rangers always get their man, so to speak. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I can't thank you enough. I'd hate to be remembered as the wagoner who couldn't hold on to the farm that's been in the family for so long. Of course. All the same, I'm grateful. If you have any more trouble, give us a call. We're in system, so it won't take long to get someone out here. All right, deputy. Let's get back to the rock. We need to report this to the marshal. not be Jemison, but this ship is starting to feel like home. Good to see you. Just here for a chat? Glorious day, don't you think? something for you when you have a moment.
Hey there. Hey, deputy. What's the story on Montero Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. You did good, but a celebration might be a little premature. I agree. Until we see the whole picture, we won't know if Miss Wagner is truly safe. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? If that's true, then someone must have hired them. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? All right. Hmm. Says here the thief had help from someone inside Hope Tech. There ain't much to go on. There's something else. They were dressed in Free Star Militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. They also said something about being forgotten. They seemed bitter about it. Resentful. Didn't you fight in the Colony War, Marshal? Any of that sound familiar? The First Cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera. What was left of it, anyway. I suppose it ain't impossible, but... It's real damn unlikely. The unit was pretty much wiped out, and the few that survived ended up in prison after a court-martial for disobeying orders. I don't recall how long the sentence was. The war between the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective? Worst conflict the settled systems has ever seen. Each side unleashed terrible weapons on the other. And countless people died. The armistice uh, was signed 20 years ago. But a lot of folks still bear their scars. The 1st Cavalry lost almost all their mechs and soldiers in a big push to take the United Colonies base. They were just about there when a ceasefire order came down. Both sides had just lost too much by then. It was a bloodbath. The commanding officer of the first disobeyed the order. He didn't want the lives of his soldiers to be sacrificed for nothing. And he court-martialed him and the rest of the surviving officers and locked them all up. No, it doesn't. Just raises more questions. It's a good bet that starship thief can help us get some answers. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. The ruling
ruling body that oversees the Free Star Collective and the Rangers. The council members are the political and corporate elite of the Free Star Collective, so we have to tread lightly when we're dealing with them. Proud, stubborn, and smart. A self-made man. He built Hope Tech through blood, sweat, and sheer willpower. Good. The last thing I need is the council breathing down my neck. This is your assignment now, Deputy. Work with the other Rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. I'll make sure Ranger Kalu knows to expect it. We need to be smarter, better in the way we are. Let's be certain to stock up on some extra ammunition before we explore the wilderness around the city. <sighs> Thank goodness we have our jetpacks to offset this ridiculously heavy gravity field. Good to meet you, friend. Name's Elias Cartwright. I'm the mayor of Aquila City. Now, I've got a memory for faces, and I can't say I've seen yours around here before. I make it a point to introduce myself to everyone who passes through our fine city. As the founder himself once said, there's no substitute for a warm welcome and a friendly smile. Ah, that'd be Solomon Coe, who stuck a shovel in the ground right here over a hundred and sixty years ago. That first settlement grew to become the city you see today. And let me tell you, it was no small hardship to make that dream a reality. Yes, indeed, this place has a proud and noble history. Why, for some of us, it's practically hallowed ground. That's why I like to meet each and every person who comes here, to make sure they know what a special place our city is. Y 
you're more than welcome. As I'm sure you know, us folk in the Free Star Collective put great stock in human kindness and generosity of spirit. I like to think that's what sets us apart from our neighbors in the United Colonies. We don't rely on machines or bureaucracy. We rely on each other. I won't pry about what brought you here. That's all of your business and none of mine. However, I'd be more than happy to give you the scoop about the core and Midtown. Midtown's where most of the business and trading gets done. It's not as old as the core, because it was built later as the city grew. As the name might suggest, Wallside's the district that runs along the inside of the Great Wall that surrounds the city. It's mostly farmers and other laborers that live down there. They ain't got quite as much space, but it's cheaper, so it all works out. Ah, you must be referring to The Rock. It's home to the largest and oldest cantina in town. That's also where the Council of Governors holds its occasional strategy meetings. As mayor of the city, I have a seat on the council. The Free Star Rangers are headquartered in the upper floors. They've got the best view of the city. I like to think that means they're always keeping an eye on the rest of us. I have to say, I sleep a little easier knowing the Marshal and his rangers are up there protecting the Free Star Collective. for your thoughts.